What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 4 here bring us more Black Ops 3 beta. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you do, make sure you leave a like on the video. So, anyways, in this gameplay, I'm actually go 47 kills and 19 deaths. And before we get into more into, into the strategy parts and what do I see in the battlefield and what weapons are currently good in Black Ops 3, I want to say this real quick. I suggest to only be playing demolition and kill confirm and a little bit of a search and destroy if you're into that. But you know, mostly when it comes down to team objectives, I recommend kill confirm and demolition because right away I get jumped into a lobby. Like this action right away. So yeah, I recommend those two game modes. Well, team deathmatch, domination, and uh, what was the other hard point are the ones that are rarely like very, you know, action packed and most of the people camp in those game modes. I don't even know why, but those game modes are the worst ones right now to go into. And like I said, you know, you most of the time you'll be stuck like in the 4v4 or 3v3 matches. So going to demolition and to kill confirm, you'll be able to find a match that quick. I feel like Black Ops 3 does have dedicated servers this time. Everything is like quick when it comes down to connections. So I might have been wrong on that video where I talked about, you know, Black Ops 3 having day one problems about the connections and how the servers are going to be so filled up. They don't even have enough servers, something like that. I did make a video about that like two months ago. And I'm thinking of like, oh my God, you know, I was wrong about this because, you know, the history was kind of bad with Call of Duty on day one releases. So um, yeah, I kind of take that word back because right now I'm telling you Black Ops 3 is as stable as ever except sometimes I've seen some people lagging across the map and I was like you're playing PS4 It's already 2015. You should not be able to have laggy connection unless he was from Europe I'm not sure because I cannot tell who's where from where because nobody's wearing mics That's another thing. Not a lot of people wear mics What's up with that? I mean, everybody has a free mic with a PS4. You all know that, right? It comes out with a free mic. So, anyways, uh, into the gameplay, you know, so let's start off talking some strategies around here into this map. I recommend, like, around 80% of the time to carry an SMG instead of an assault rifle. Because uh, most of these maps are mostly, you know, clustered. They're, they're really narrow on passages. So, you're going to be able to see a lot of action, like, that quick. It's super quick and you gotta be aware of your surroundings super quick. So in order for you to turn around quickly, you gotta be wearing an SMG. You cannot be carrying an assault rifle. Assault rifles really take a little bit to like turn around and stuff. So I recommend to carry an SMG most of the time. And um, the SMG that I'm currently carrying is called the CUDA. Now the CUDA, I'm telling you right now, I tested out the other SMGs. This is actually an old gameplay. This is actually one of the first five gameplays that I played in the game. And I think I played this weapon without attachments, and it's a good balanced weapon. It it does have good mid range, so I can imagine like how would it do with uh, with a foregrip? Because with a foregrip, you should be able to like have no recoil on the weapon. So uh, the foregrip plus the stock attachments should, should increase the Cuda into like a superior weapon or something. So once I unlock those two attachments, I'll show you the guys the weapon and how it works and how I recommend to use it. Because in this game. I mean, if we had the stalker perk or the slide of hand perk, it would have been a faster and easier game. If you guys saw my quick review, I told you guys the movements are sluggish. They kind of feel different from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was super quick and the SMG sucked. So most of the time you won't be carrying an SMG in that game. But in this game, you should. Most of the freaking corridors are narrow and also the assault rifles do not feel that strong either. So... I think this year is all about the SMGs, and one of the, one of the SMGs I'm tending to carry right now is the Cuda. It is a great beginner SMG, so uh, you can get used to it like right quick. It's not that fast on the, on the uh, rapid fire. It doesn't you know rattle a lot. The recoil is okay, so uh, the Cuda is the most balanced SMG right now. I still do not know about the others because I haven't unlocked them yet, but I'll test them out and I'll tell you guys if they're good or not. So, yeah, along the way I'll tell you guys new stuff. So another thing is, I'm using the specialist character Tempest. Now the special for this guy, I'm telling you, it is a pretty much of a great special because everybody when it gets like in the big ball, you can get like around three people once they touch the electricity. I thought it was gonna be like a chain reaction though, where like um, if they get close enough, they should be able to like chain react towards the other enemies and create like a big ass kill streak. But it doesn't do that. It actually, you know, it it, it stays stationary. Actually, you know, when you shoot the Tempest weapon. Um, the electricity just goes into the enemy's body and that's it. It just stays there. I thought it continues on, but it doesn't. So, 
I don't. It was kind of you no. Know, I was thrown off by it, but it's still a good special. It's good to have an extra weapon in the back as a special, and uh, it's a good thing it's a one hit. You know, it doesn't take a while to like take down an enemy. Like for example, the crossbow. I haven't I haven't tested out the crossbow, but a lot of people have tried to get me with it, and I'm telling you, most of the time they miss. I have a feeling that the crossbow is really not that much of a strong gun. It is a one shot kill, but the thing is you're not really accurate with it so I still need to test out that weapon and I'll tell you guys if it's good or not and maybe use it or not because right now I've been using the Tempest I've used the woman who also has the crossbow I need to learn the name so because uh, I want to give you guys more information about them so right now it's all about the Tempest and the Tempest is a great specialist character it's just that um you know I really expected a little bit more from the Wonder Waffle. <laughs> uh, it's literally the Wonder Waffle because you, you carry that kind of stuff like a back in Black Ops 1. I don't know why people laugh at me when I say that. This is the freaking Wonder Waffle. So, um, anyways, yeah, this match it was pretty much well done. You know, the CUDA pretty much represented a great SMG. It's a very balanced SMG. I recommend to use it. If you're barely stepping into the beta right now, use the CUDA. The other SMGs, you'll see the difference later on. And, you know,. You, you'll get used to them later, but the CUDA is a good training weapon just to get used to the game right now. So, um, so yeah, use the CUDA right away. Um, so that is it, guys. I don't wanted to talk about we lost this match because none of my teammates wanted to protect the goddamn A flag. I'm like, seriously, there's like four people standing next to the freaking A bomb and nobody's deactivating that thing. Oh, it pisses me off when my teammates do not do shit. I mean, you guys saw it right now. Just rewind it like five seconds right now. Look at my map, and you should be able to see like around five people, you know, walking around the bomb and nobody deactivates it. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I just had a badass gameplay. Nobody deactivated the bomb. We could have won the match. So, <sighs> oh well, teammates. I miss my Call of Duty teammates, you know, from Modern Warfare 3. They were super cool. So, that is it, guys. If you guys want to hear more strategies or more of my thoughts about Black Ops 3, there's going to be paint shop coming up. There's going to be best class setups coming up. So, subscribe for more because there's a lot of stuff coming up for Black Ops 3 beta.